Hey guys. So, got some news. I have a feeling I know where some of the comments are gonna be, but you know, fuck it at this point. Uh, I will note. Now, let me just say, get out of the way. I'm no longer with JCT. Uh, by the time you probably guys probably see this video, I'll be gone for what two, two and a half weeks, almost three. Here comes the cat. So, hi cat. So shithead. I will say real quick though, note, it had nothing to do money side with the truck. It was all, the reason why I left, and there was a few of them, they just stacked up across over two years before I just said, okay, I'm done dealing with it. The reason why I left had nothing to do with the truck. Nothing. I was profitable, bills were being paid. That was, I wasn't stressed over money. And I was making more than a company driver. Uh, there, regardless of what people fucking think, without all you gotta do is go watch the other videos, and the evidence is there. The only time I didn't make as much as company driver, or make at least minimum a company driver, was during maintenance times, and that was what four to six weeks, and then boom, I make a ten to twenty cents more at least easily for what five months, assuming nothing goes wrong. So you know. I don't know why people think I would only make as much as coming to driver. I mean, sure, if you don't know how to manage and don't know how to, you know, do that, but whatever. Uh, where I'm at now, uh, I'll, I'll give you some tidbits on them, but I'm not gonna make a video about these guys until, what, a couple, couple three, two to three months till things really get rolling. Uh, I'm with Brothers Grimm out of Idaho. Really small company. I am a lease truck, meaning rental, not lease purchase. Keep your comments to yourself for a second. 90%. They have direct freight and spot market. I can book my own loads. So there's that. Currently the spot market having direct freight is kind of nice. Granted, I'm not making as much money, but right now, currently, I'm making at least 25 cents more uh, than I was with JCT. So that equates to about 10,000 miles. You know, barely running. What, an extra 2,600, almost 2,500? So about 600 dollars a week. Or, yeah, 600 dollars a week extra. Not bad, man, I'm pretty good. Now this is a full maintenance lease, meaning, for example, this truck, granted, it's a temporary truck, it's not my truck. Uh, I was in this truck temporarily because somebody accidentally took my truck, due to mis miscommunication and confusion. Uh, this truck, We'll be going local because this truck is too thirsty to running goat yard. This truck is a five and a half MPG truck, a 75, and at 75 you're running 1700 RPM. So, and even if you're doing 65, you're still pushing 1500 plus. 55 is 1200 and some change. So, put that in perspective. Uh, the reason why I wanted to wait, you know, a couple months to get out of this truck, get some money flowing. But it's a full maintenance lease. Um, this truck, it runs $750 a week. Cause everything. I blow a fucking tire in the middle of nowhere in the truck. I don't pay nothing for it. I pay nothing. I don't pay the tow bill, if I get towed. I don't pay the road call. I don't pay the fucking drive tire, or you know, the tire price, nothing. Just a flat rental, rental. That's benefits, some pros and cons there. Uh, fuel discounts are amazing. Uh, I've been averaging about 410. And I'm going, I'm only on my, but third trip, uh, 410, and they've been in some high high fuel prices uh, between Phoenix and Flagstaff. I filled up at that Flying J, and what 257 exit, uh, exit 257, uh, Camp Verde, something like that. Anyways, uh, I paid what 420. That's what I paid. Uh, I just filled in Oklahoma City yesterday at four four. What, 402 and it was 469. Uh, I filled up it up there in uh, Utah, uh, northern Utah, 57, 57 cent discount. Uh, well, I paid full, I don't remember, four something. Don't quite remember, that one's pretty bad. What the fuck did I just get on me? Okay, whatever. Uh, so far, I mean, so far this company's not bad. Uh, 
the truck I'll be getting into will be a yellow uh, a Freightliner. Again, that one's temporary too, a bit longer than this one. This one was just, it was there and I needed a truck, so. Uh, that, that truck will get <laughs> at least three more HPG than this truck, my God. I can barely do a thousand miles in this fucking truck before I'm like, it's like, fill me up, bitch. I'm like, okay, yes, 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 yes master, I'll fill you up. Uh, but that one uh, will be temporary. It's a Pensy rental. The only reason why they have it is because Volvo didn't meet their deadline. Uh, and yeah, I'm getting unloaded currently. Uh, fuck. Getting slammed into is making me lose my train of thought. Uh, the Volvo should be here sometime in December. Car ETA. So as soon as that, that Volvo shows up, there should be two of them. I'm, I'm out of the Freightliner. Uh, Volvo's gonna be brand new. They'll have APUs on them. This truck, idle 24-7, no APU. Freightliner, no APU. So that will help too. Uh, I've done some math. And so the first week, I'm going to have four days on the page, or four days on the pay period. Second week, I'll have three trips. And that should be, depending on what they give me for my third trip, uh, anywhere from six to 75, uh, 6,000 to 7,500 gross, which is quite a bit higher than I could do at JCT. Like the most I ever did at JCT was like, oh, I had to push 4,000 miles to get anything above, well fuck, you knew the math, but 4,000 miles was pretty much what I had to do to get way above 6,000. Uh, or even close to it. Uh, what am I, am I running hard? No, I mean, I, 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 I see. I, this trip, the start of this pay period is Phoenix to Monet, Missouri. That's 12, 1,200 miles. And then uh, I got another 1,200 miles already set up from uh, Carthage. So, you know, a little bit deadhead, 1,200 miles. Uh, it's only 40 miles, because I mean, whatever. I, I gotta think about deadhead now. But 1,200 miles from Carthage over to Logan. So there's, you know, 2,400 miles. And I've already doubled the revenue I would have done in JCT, pretty much. Well, not quite doubled it, but I haven't done the math, but it's, it's up there, uh, at least 25% more. Not quite double that would be a hundred cent or whatever. Uh, and then I already told my contact that I need to get up through Boise, at least two Boise or up through Boise. So it's gonna be, I don't know, I'm assuming another thousand miles at least. It's gonna, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, this gives me potential for doing much better videos. Plus, I am now a day runner, it seems. So that, that, that's a bit of a bummer, but I'll do what I gotta do. Although, going, being able to go 75 is pretty nice. Not so much in this truck, but I'm doing it anyways, because I guess 7,500 miles, or 75 miles per hour doesn't sound much from 70, but that's an extra 50 miles potential per day. So I, there, I can potentially squeeze another trip just running 75 every week just by being able to. This truck, I'm doing it just because uh, the way the loads were stacking up, I wanted to just try to make up for last week. I have only on four days. Uh, fucking Christ, this guy. Truck's not bad though. I mean, if this truck would get seven MPG, I would just say fuck it. You know, stick with it because this truck is pretty comfy. It's a little comfy. Smokestack's a little weird. You don't know how much you miss hood mirrors until uh, you don't have them. And uh, since you guys have seen the way back, I stick my head out the window. I gotta stick my head out the window further to see around those smokestacks, which also means I'm not usually a guy that uses my mirrors at back so much because my head's out the window, right? Until it's in the box and then I use my mirrors. I've been having to go kind of back and forth and I keep catching myself trying to look at the hood for hood mirrors. I kind of got. And before back in my day, we didn't have none of this fancy stuff it's such as hood mirrors and all this. It's like, you know, there's nothing wrong with make, having tools to make your job easier. As such, if you really disagree with that, don't buy anything. Mass production. Everything needs to be handmade. Now it's mass produced. Except for a few exceptions, which, you know, the exceptions is not the rule. So don't buy anything if you fucking disagree. Uh, you know, hey, guess what? Same thing with cars. You know, even you good old manual boys, right? Well, back in the day, what? Three, four gears at most? Now it's, dude, 
you want to go from your six speed to three, you know, three or four, or hell, do you want to, you know, split your 18s and have two fucking sticks? Had to, you know, shit them at the same time? So let's not act like tools don't make the job better and easier. Fuck you if you're fucking really trying to convince, convince me otherwise than the rest of the people. You're just lying to yourself. Yeah, but. Uh, you know what's nice about this company though? Especially. If, I don't. Most of the stuff I can do myself. I don't like middlemen. It's very inefficient. So I can literally cut out the middlemen. I hope he's not coming out. Uh, like I, the company all that really would pop, pop my head to get a hold of the company for is maybe a lumpers. I can do everything myself. Like I, I, I have both numbers for my contacts. Okay, so I side note. When you start seeing numbers, I'm gonna start putting out. Keep in mind because the spot market is down. I am running on an account. So, contract freight is what I'm running on currently. I don't give a shit as long as I'm making more money. Like, I don't care. As long as my bills are paid and I'm able to maintain pretty good average, like, this week, if I've done the math right, I should take on to what, 2900 for my first real check? Mine is a four days, you know, the other one, because that one's in barely a check. 2900 and for all expenses in a thirsty fucking truck? Five and a half MPG. <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, plus, I got to idle 24 7 because it's, it's, you know, can't have desert. It's, I'm sound here in Missouri still. It's going to be fun. 97, 96 degrees out. And I'm in the shade. I'm in the fucking shade and it's 96 degrees. Uh, yeah, so. Am I at the learn something? Yeah. Uh, but I am running for an account. Uh, so it's, I'm not running a spot market. So I'm, I'm off the power only, which means you're going to some slowly uh, lower rates. Fine. They don't have those trailers. They have a two, they're on a list. They had order trailers. Current ETA, they're being told it's two years. <laughs> but they're looking and they're trying to get a hold of any equipment they can, but they do not have enough trailers for the trucks they have. Which is fine, you know. Uh, my plan is to run for them for a year or two and buy my own truck. I would have already bought a truck, but the I was not stupid enough to spend, overspend by a hundred grand for a truck that's gonna, you know, maybe be out of five years, so why the fuck am I gonna throw away an extra hundred grand? I, I was, I made it least lease purchase, not that desperate. And honestly, I don't, I don't see an issue with this rental. Sure, you know, it's, they're renting a truck. It's like, well, so? I have less expenses in this truck than I would with the lease purchase. And the insurance is by the mile. Uh, so when I go home, all I do is pay the truck payment. That part, that part kind of sucks. Uh, I, I rather pay the insurance than the truck payment, but whatever. But I pay it before I go home, and then psh, go home. I go home for a month still. I went. I was gonna go home for two months. I can't quite do that here. Uh, just not with this account. So gotta do what I gotta do. Uh, hopefully in the near future year two years you know it, i can go home whenever the fuck i want my own truck but with this you know i'm not company they cut that i understand it so i'm not annoyed at it but it, you know it's, it's what it is i'm not like losing home time and they said they, they're willing to make the exception for me because uh you know it's not like i'm just some person they've never talked to or whatever they've been I, I, this was a company that was uh company that was already talking to in the over the last few months in the, in the background, which I'm most likely gonna make a video about why I left GCT, but I'm not really one to shit all over somebody, so. The vi that video is gonna be from my experience, it does not necessarily mean it's gonna be your experience. So, but it is content, and I, I'm probably gonna do it. Uh, but anyways, what do you guys say? Let's. What do you guys say of this one? Ah, Andy Four. Ha! Huh? I told you so. You aren't gonna make that lease purchase work again. I should have the numbers. It'll make it work. But whatever. I just the company is ended up breaking breaking the enough straw. They're told them. I'm sure they're told them to go fuck themselves. 
you know, nicely. I didn't even I didn't even say that. I just said, hey, give me a CDR. That's pretty much what I said. I, I wasn't going to give them two weeks notice because, well, I would have asked this company, they want me here now or two weeks and said, let's get you over now. I was like, uh, oh, okay. Uh, I looked it up to them and I just said, give me to the yard. Um, so at least I, I made it to where I can get the truck to the yard. Uh, but hey, you guys stay safe out there. Catch you next time. Bye.